Hey, what's going on everyone? Andrew here back with Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 and we are doing a new series called the Muscle Car Series. As you can tell, we have a Chevy Nova and we also have a Ford Mustang. Now, we're going to start with this one and we're going to go to this one and possibly when we're done with that we'll go to this one which I've already done, cleaned up the body a bit on it. And that's really all I have for muscle cars here at the moment. We're going to have to go to the junkyard in another episode and uh, go find some to build. So, let's get started, shall we? Uh, first things first, let's bring over the welder. Excuse me. Let's bring over that pesky old welder there, mate. We're going to clean this up for 1,300 simoleons. And as we're getting done with that, we're going to go build ourselves a motor. And the car came from the factory, well, I don't know if it's factory or not, with a supercharged V8. Now, who am I to say, no, the car doesn't get one back? You know what I mean? When we're done building the motor, oh yeah, we got some color on this one this time. <clears throat> and when I'm done building the motor, I will show, when we start ripping the car apart itself, I will show you that it actually came with a supercharged V8. Now, on this one, yes, I'm using red and black. However, if it came chrome, I'm leaving it alone. See? Oh, yeah. She's going to look sharp and shiny. I think it's going to look spectacular. All right, now we're going to flip it over. We put in the quaint shaft. <clears throat> That's a little dry. Put in the quaint shaft, quaint shaft bearing caps, and the piston. And the oil filter. Yeah, we didn't really paint that. The crank shaft first. Put in the crank shaft caps. All three of them, middle to end to the other end. <coughs> Sorry about that. Then we put on the piston and the piston ring. We got eight of each, total of 16. Now this is going to be a V8 overhead valve supercharged. At least it's get the folds getting the fold motor. You know what I mean? The Chevy ain't getting the fold motor. The fold getting the fold motor. All right, now we put on the rod caps. All eight of these little boogers. We getting her done now, guys and gals. Oh yeah. We've got three more, two more after this one, and then we put on that oil pan. That's right. Oh yeah. Now we already have the shocks assembled. Uh, we have the wheels and tires assembled. Yeah, that's right, red and black. Like I said, I kind of like that. I kind of like that shade of red. It looks real nice. That's why I'm choosing that one. Oh yeah, we're getting there. We're getting her done. That's right. Now we're done with that. We flip this back over. Kind of almost looks like purple in a certain light. Or a really dark pink. All right, put in all eight bolts of these, I believe. And now we put in the push rod. We gotta push the rod in, man. Oh yeah. Come on, there we go. Being stubborn tonight. Oh, 
All right, we got one more left on this side. Let me put the rockers in. The roller tip rockers. And we'll put the valve cover cap, valve cover on, valve cover cap. And then uh, the spook plugs and the headers. Now, like I said, if it's chrome, we left it alone. <clears throat> All right, we're getting her now. Perfect. Let me put the plugs in. There's gonna be a lot of red on this mo on this car. I'll tell you that right now. More than usual. However, there's also gonna be some chrome on this car. Like you can see the front, you know, chrome. Oh yeah. Run over here to this side. Get ready to start assembling this head. Well the head itself is already assembled. We just gotta put in the push rods, rockers, spark plugs. Uh, header, yeah, all the fun stuff. There we go. We got full mo three. Let's first get over there so I can actually see, huh? Yeah, two mo. Come on, get on there. One more. Now it's the rockets. Oh, that's right. We getting her done, man. We getting her done. We got four more after this one. Then the valve cover. So how's everyone doing today? Is everyone having a good day? I hope so. Hope everybody's having a, a wonderful day. Nope, not yet. Not yet. It's too soon. It's too soon, man. It's too soon. <coughs> Spark Lukes. Got foe on this side. Let's see if I forgot anything this time. However, we may have to buy fuses and relays. I'm not sure yet. So. It'd be a process, man. Plug wires. Looking all authentic-ish. We put on the Uba Cha Cha. V8 OHV. And we put on the carburetors. One. Two. Ah, ah, ah. And we put on the filters. What? Oh, there we go. I forgot something. Like I said, I never said I wouldn't forget something, I just didn't think I did. Kind of forgot a key crucial point. Can't do nothing if you ain't got the breather, if you ain't got the uh, air filters on. Look at that. Now we put the front end of the motor together. And we put the belts on. Time and cover. Time and chain. The fan. And we done with the motor. Maybe I didn't go as, uh, as much red as I thought I did on the motor. Kind of balanced out, actually. Overdrive the belt. Belt B, OHV. See? 
the A OHV. Now the fan. Oh, look at that. Try to do chrome, but when something's real chrome, yeah, it don't look quite the same. But it is what it is. Alright. Zimota is built. Looks snazzy, doesn't it? Just sitting there looking like a power hose. Alright, now we're going to go over here. That's not bad looking blue, eh? Put that back. And start stripping the body down. And once we get that done, we can start work stripping the car. Hmm. I wonder something. I highly don't think that that passenger door is going to be any good. And I can't get to it yet. Because I'm not Renovator 6. Well, let's see if I'm able to renovate. I think I can. I can get that one. I can get that one. And then I can get this one. Awesome. I hope we can start putting parts on and off faster. Hey, wait. Ooh, wait a minute here. Let's see what we got. What, what can we fix? We can do the mirror. Right side. And we can do the left door. Like I said, I didn't think we were going to be able to salvage the uh, right door. She's looking kind of banged up. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to put this bad boy up in the air. All the way up, up and away. I'm going to work right here. Taking off the drum. The shoe. The wheel cylinder. And the axle. Or the axle shaft. I'm going to take out the back and plate. Rear knuckle B. Small, small bushing. I was going to say small lower bushing, but eh, kind of both even. The front bushing. Uh, U-bolt. The other U-bolt. Of course, one stuck. That's not bad. Only one so far. It's pretty good. We're going to take out the plate. Now the spring. There we go. I'm going to take out the shook. And repeat for the other side. Well, this side, this side has a tire. The other side didn't. It came with one. It actually came with all four wheels on this thing. But, to get the correct measurements for the wheels, I have to test fit them first. The wheels I got the first time didn't really fit it all that well. So I had to I had to do a little bit of uh, investigative miss, and I got me I got us a set of wheels that fit this thing. Fit it pretty good actually. All right, I got that out. Now I got to do the front bushing. The shook. And we're gonna come over here. We're gonna take the drum, the axle bolt first this time. Of course, you no know, frozen bolts. Wouldn't be life without them, man. Two of them on an axle and four bolts. Hmm. Half the bolts were stuck. Ooh, that was a little blurry. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to take out the wheel cylinder, backing plate, nuckel. Uh, no, you can, you can come off, thank you. And differential. How's that? We're going to work our way to the front. Possibly. There we go. We're going to start right here this time. We're going to take out the rear left side bushing, the cross member. We're going to take out the coil over shook. And we're going to take off the outer tie rod. Outer tie rod? Where? We're going to take off the inner tie rod. It's way by end length B. The upper control arm. 
with all the bushings. The lower with the ball joint and two bushings. All right, now we're going to take out the front left bushing on the cross member. We're going to take out the transmission. Once we get the bolts unstuck. Come on now. Perfect. Now we're going to run our way over to this side. This is so far. We're going to take out the shook. You can't put these in on the dyno. When it's on when it's on dyno uh, runners, you can't put them in when the car's on the ground because the wheel's on. But yeah, when the car's up in the air, you can still put them on and take them off. It's weird. That came off pretty easily. Now we can take off this front right bushing. Have to spray it with the good stuff. All right. Now I can take off the lower control arm. No, I can't. It's still got sway bar link B. <laughs> Forgetting stuff. All right. Now we are going to take this off. One stuck rusty bolt. Now we're going to take off the outer tie rod. If we can. Perfect. Inner tie rod. The steering rack. Sway bar B. I see I took off the cross member instead. Now we're going to take off the sway bar. Or steering rack. See? I did it, man. I did it. Now dust cap, wheel bearing, caliper. Rota, the brake pads, the wheel hub. I didn't take all that stuff off that side. Huh. I'm kind of slacking, man. I think it's lack of sleep that's doing it to me. Since my pops passed, I haven't really been sleeping all that well. Actually, I wasn't, I wasn't really sleeping well before then. At least I was going to bed at a decent hour. Where I, where I live, it's, uh, what, 3 o'clock in the morning? Uh, it's 2.44 a.m. right now. Normally, my video is already up ed editing, well, rendering it. And then, uh... It's uploading to YouTube by this point. But the wife and I were gaming earlier, so it took me a minute to get on. Alright. What the? What am I? Did I not? I'm positive I took that out. Did I not? Huh. That's some voodoo magic going on with this car. Or car lift B. And we're going to yank this thing out of there, man. Let's go clean up under the hood. Get rid of all unnecessary, unwanted, used parts. Get prepared for the new and improved. Alright, let's start right here, shall we? Alright, we're getting some... What? Huh? Oh no! Oh no! Alright. We have any of these? Yeah, I don't think so there, Tim. Alrighty. That was, that was a little bit awkward at the moment. So what we'll do is we'll take uh, two of these, two of these, one of those, one of those. And we'll take, uh, how many was it? Four B's, one C. Or four A's, one C. I guess perfect. Makes perfect. I don't know. I'm good at things, but I ain't perfect. Alright, we're getting there now. We're going to put in a relay C. And we're going to put in medium fuse type A. B. Oh, well, another A. 
This one's B, I know that. And then this one right here should be C. B again. Thankfully, I bought four. Uh oh. Giving colors away now. Giving colors away now. I think I kind of did that on the motor. Oh, oh wait, I forgot something. We forgot something, man. There we go. Now we put this thing up, up in the way. And we, then we start by installing the leaf spring rear with the fuel tank and exhaust. Oh, I'm so exhausted. All right. Let's move it in the seat there. I'm putting a medium. Or middle pipe, I should say. Medium. Yeah, man, it's called a medium pipe. All right. Oi. Hello. I'm over here. There we go. Now we're going to put in the rears. The other rear. Now we're going to put in a differential. With the lady spring. Alright, blue spring plate, which I tried to make it look chrome, but when it's up next to chrome pieces, it kind of doesn't look chrome. Now, I want you to keep in mind, that chrome is the same as this chrome. Alright, I'm going to put in the rear bushing. I'm going to put a knuckle bee. The backing plate. Or as they call the wheel hub for. Put in the wheel cylinder. The shoes. The axle. And the drum. And what's next after that? You say? The wheel. Oh, look at that. back take a little quick glance at it it actually looks decent on that car okay we can continue needs to be a line though that's for sure that is for certain man all right big spring small rubber bushing the plate to hold it to the axle with the U-bolts. Hey man, shots in the way. What the? Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Now we have the backing plate there. When it, I should have waited until I, after I put the other bushing in. But that's okay. That is okay. Now we're gonna put in the axle. The shoes. And the drum. And put it together, it spells not the wheel. We got ample room between the leaf spring and the tire. Alright, now we're gonna put in the cross member E. Start buying stuff for the um, for the Nova there. So and that's got cross member D written all over it. See, right there. Yeah, we forgot it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All 
right, let's try that one again, shall we? I'm going to put on the steering rack. The cross member. Well, I guess after the steering knuckle goes in, you know what I mean? This time we got the right, right components. Now we're going to put in the other bushing. Zoom to the front. I'm going to put in this back or the front bushing there. And we got one more bushing. Then we put in our sway bar V. If I can get to it. And then we're going to put in our inner tie rod. Upper control arm with the bushings. Alright. Now we're going to do the lower control arm. And I think we'll wait. We got this to do first. Oh, wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. I knew something wasn't right. Now, I do have it. It's just not in the right order. I knew I should have paid a little bit closer attention. There we go. Right there. Right there, man. Right there. Sway bar B and Link. The coilover shook. It's a lot of red, isn't it? Oh well. So there, just had to scratch my eye. Alright, now we're putting the front wheel hub. Wheel bearing, or not. Quite jumpy, isn't it? And a $400 road is. The brake pad, Z caliper, and the wheel. A little different. That looks decent. I can dig it. Perfect. Put this in. We, nah, -uh. we're gonna put this in. Yeah, this might be a little bit of importance. You never know, right? Three bar and link B, the coil over shook. Move around here, backing plate. Wheel hub with a bearing and center cap. And the center cap. And the rota. Awesome. 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 Alright, now it's the tire. Nope, we still gotta put the inner and outer tire rods in. Perfect. We're almost done, man. We're almost done. Alright. They call me Mr. Armstrong. Alright. Let's get this motor ready to go in, shall we? Once I stop running into the car. Perfect. Run, 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 run. Alright. Doesn't that motor look nice in there? Alright, let's fill it up with fluid. And we can go install the transmission. Um, nobody. Give it the program. And once we get all that done, give it an alignment. And we can hit the dyno. You know, for dynamite. Alright, now we're going to 
put some oil in her. Help everything be lu lubricated. That might be a little bit too much. Never enough, man. Never enough. Probably go a little bit over the normal amount. That way then it has a chance to run through the system. Perfect. And we're going to try some engine oil. But we already filled that up, didn't we? And just double check, just to be on the safe side. Come on, get on now. See, I almost double filled it. I'm gonna pop the cap off of here, add some coolant, some antifreeze. Perfect. Now we do break. Way over here. At least it didn't disappear on me this time. Alright, that's good enough. Now we're going to put the car up in the air. I'm going to put transmission, drive shaft, and starter in right now while I'm thinking of it. I was thinking, should I go black? Or do a red or chrome? The chrome was eh, iffy. But if I would have went black, it would have been black motor, black transmission, black diff. I mean, it would have looked alright, but not the motive I'm going for here, we'll say. All right, time to drop it down, put a battery in it, and fire it up and see if it runs. Pretty much there. Getting a few pieces here by the looks of it. Front bumper. Let's go around it one last time. Now what we're going to do, we want to move her over to the paint shop. Now I've already got headlights and a hood for it. I think. No, I know I got headlights. Which these ones are still in the car. Dang, I'm slate. I'm slipping today. So, what we will do is I know I never bought the hood because when I was painting everything, I didn't want the hood to get mixed up. With the rest of it, new bumper. I just put a double block my door. Okay. hood, front bumper, front headlight, oh yeah, passenger side fender, the driver side fender, the windshield, the passenger door, the window, the Mia, keep it cruising, keep it cruising, back window, trunk, rear tail light, 
and a rear bumper. All right, is that it? I think. Nope. Yep. That is it, man. Yeah, no, I'm good. Whew. Ain't she a beauty? That's beautiful. Perfect. I'll do the headlights. Hey, maybe may, maybe we should put a battery in the car first. What do y'all think? Alrighty. Let's go try to align the headlights again. Perfect. Now we're going to drop this one down, slide it over. Alright, we're getting her done now. Everything's doing. There we go. Now we're going to go put this thing on the dyno. And maybe first we'll put the seats in. Put on the rear bench. The front passenger. The front driver, the steering wheel, and we're done there. Let's see if it'll start. Oh yeah, she runs, she runs strong. Now we're going to go put it on the dyno. Dynamite. I mean, that actually just looks right. Nice big wide tires on the rear. Skinny-ish tires for the front. Alright, it's supposed to make 498 horsepower at 4200 RPM from stock. 691 foot-pounds of torque at 2800 RPM stock. Let's see what we can get her up to. I want to say 920 for horsepower. Torque, I don't have a clue. Nine forty-nine horsepower and. 1301 foot pounds of torque. Torque monster. She feels real parky, man. Alright, let's go look at it in the lot. Well, first we're going to bring her back to the shop. And then we're going. You know what? Let's tint the windows. Oh yeah. That just looks so good now. Why did I do that for, man? There. Let's take a little walk over here. Oh, that looks nice. I like it. I like it a lot. But alright guys. That's going to conclude our video for this for today. Uh, this is remember this is episode one of the Muscle Car series. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Give me a comment, tell me what you think, and uh, we shall see you on the next one. Hope you all have a good one. Bye.